This video is sponsored by Green Screen Wizard. Use Green Screen Wizard for all of your green screening needs. If you'd like to purchase Green Screen Wizard, please go to my website, jackstechcorner.com, and click on the link on the left. Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and this is another Photoshop Elements 10 video tutorial. Now, of course, this is going to work in Photoshop Elements probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we should be covering all the bases on this one. And I think you're gonna enjoy this. What this video is about today is how to make your sky pop. And we've done this in a lot of different ways. I've taught you how to replace your sky with other pictures of other skies and do all kind of interesting thing to, things to replace the skies. But in this video, it's a little bit more subtle. We're gonna use a tool that I think is overlooked way too much and not used nearly enough and that's the gradient tool you know gradients are used in a lot of different ways to make back backgrounds or banners and we've used them in a thousand different ways but today i'm going to show you how to use a gradient to actually make your sky pop so let's go ahead and have a look at that now okay so we're in photoshop elements 10 currently that's the version i'm using and this is our background image we're going to do a control or a command j and we're going to duplicate that background. On this duplicated background, now we're going to go ahead and use a gradient. What I want you to do first of all is go to your color palette on the left. Click on the color palette and pick out a skylight color. Now, I don't know how to tell you to, to uh, what signifies a skylight color, but I kind of like these subtle, very soft blues. Uh, as my sky. So I'm going to pick a blue color. Click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and leave the white background and we're going to click on the gradient. Now once we click on the gradient, we click the pull down menu at the top, you'll see we now have a blue over white or a blue over transparent. That's what we want to use. We want to use a foreground of blue over transparent. Let's go ahead and double click on that. Put that up in there. And now there's going to be a lot of different ways we can actually put those on there. There's a linear gradient. There is a radial gradient. And we've looked at these in the past. An angle gradient. And there's a reflected gradient. As well as a diamond gradient. We are going to be using the reflected gradient. Is the one we want to be using today. We're going to start at the top of your picture or your skyline. And simply hold down your shift key and that allows us to draw a straight line. Let's draw a straight line down. And we're going to come down past the barn here, down past that tree line, and then just simply leave go. And you can see now instantly it gave us that blue sky, that pop in that sky that we needed that we were kind of lacking. Now, we do run into a problem here. The problem is we didn't want the top of this covered bridge to be painted blue because we know it's red doesn't look too realistic although the sky looks very nice everything around the sky now looks off doesn't look quite right so what I want to do is we're going to apply our layer mask now here's a catch if you are using versions 5 6 7 and 8 you do not have a layer mask that's okay because you can come down here and use a fill adjustment. Click on that and pick one of the fill adjustments. And here's how we've always done this. Do not do anything with the fill adjustment. Just click on the mask itself and you can actually paint on that mask and do the same thing that we're gonna be doing here with a normal layer mask. I'm gonna delete this right now. Oh, actually delete this all together. Delete that layer. Now what I'm going to do here though, since I'm in version 10, we're going to click on the layer mask and add the layer mask. Now, once we do that, we'll click on the layer mask and we want to make sure we're painting with black. So let's just flip our layers, our palette over here on the left. There we go. Now let's click on the layer mask. On our color palette, we should have black there. Let's choose a brush. And then we're going to bring our opacity up to 
Now, all we have to do here is we're going to do some painting on top of this barn, or I mean on top of this covered bridge. So let's just start going over there. And all we're doing here basically is going over and we're uncovering what was under there to begin with. So we're taking our blue tint off of the covered bridge, but leaving it in the skyline. I would suggest you use your left and right bracket keys. So you can get up around these areas here really, you know, and it's really fine in these areas. So take your time. There's no rush when you're editing. I was telling my son the other night when you edit, uh, it seems like you can pass the hours away just sitting in front of a computer doing nothing but editing and editing and editing. And I say this is uh, all those years we spent in grade school learning how to trace things and stay within the lines. I think we were getting ready for Photoshop. That's what we were basically doing. Could be anyway, right? All right, so we just clean this up a little bit. Try to get back down through here. Again, just taking your time. Not Try not to go over top of it. Whatever you're uh, uncovering or, or unrevealing uh, or revealing, I should say, underneath. And if you get a bigger area, make a bigger brush. So many people like to, oh, the brush size is so small. We don't want to do that. Now, up in here, you can see where I left a little bit of the white. The white came back out through there a little bit. What we have to do up there is we just have to switch over our color palette. And we're going to switch the color palette back. And we're going to actually paint with white. And we'll just get right along here with the white. Just like this, right there. That looks pretty good. And up on top of this barn, right, or I keep calling it a barn, a covered bridge, right there. Now, over here in these trees, uh, you got to be really careful when you revealing this stuff. What I like to try to do, and we'll see if it works, is go back to black, and we're going to drop our opacity down on our brush. Go back this way, it's like 20%. There you go. 20% seems to do okay with it. So you're taking it out. You're letting the trees come through there. But you're not going all the way back down to the white that was behind there before. And if you want to, you can actually go all the way over this thing and actually lighten the whole thing back up. Lighten the whole sky up a little bit. You can do it that way. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. We are going to undo some of that brush tool just to leave it the way it was there. So you get the general idea. You have to be able to take this picture, drop that in there using a gradient. That's why I wanted to show you how to use a gradient. And then basically use your mask and reveal what's under it, what you didn't want covered up by that gradient. So again, that's just a really quick little dirty way that I like to be able to make a sky pop and actually bring that blue out of that sky just by actually giving it a little bit of help and uh, not overbearing the picture itself. Well, hey, I hope you've liked this video tutorial on using Photoshop Elements 10 and Gradients. And I hope you please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more photography type videos, a lot more editing, along with a, a lot more of uh, photograph in general, photography in general. So stick with me. And I'm sure we can bring some more stuff to you. If you have any questions or comments, please email me. I'd love to hear from you. Email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. And if that doesn't work, put a comment right here on this video and I'll answer you back there. Also, remember to stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com and look at the editing videos there that are available for you to purchase and learn even more on your own time sitting right by or at your computer. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.